From Wish TV, Indiana's only statewide TV news network. This is a Storm Track 8 weather alert. This morning, the entire state is under some kind of winter weather alert in central Indiana. What was rain is now fully snow and is starting to stick on more of the streets, changing since the start of daybreak. We do have team coverage all morning long, tracking the storm and watching those roads. Yes, we are watching um, all of the radar, of course. Meteorologist Marcus Bailey is watching that on the left side of your screen. You see all of that blue. We are getting a lot of snow. On the right side, we've got Mobile News Tracker headed north on State Road 267 in Avon. Just one of the many areas that we're going to show you live looks throughout the morning here on Daybreak. It is Wednesday, January 25th. Uh, if you're not quite yet sure if the kiddos have some time away from school or off completely today, scan the QR code that just popped up on your screen. We do have uh, delays and cancellations by the 100. That'll get you the information immediately. Stephanie, and I will get to you traffic here yeah. in a moment with you. Any major things that you're watching right no, now? No, but noticing from State Road 267, near the Avon area, they're starting to see it stick yeah. from the roadways, and that hasn't been the theme we've seen this morning, mm -hmm. so that that is certainly changing. Temperature's yeah. been everything. And, and, well, and pre-treatment, too, yeah. and that goes a long way. We talk a lot about it. That it. Sometimes it gets too cold, the chemicals don't work, but we're hovering right around freezing, so a lot of that snow, especially on the main roads, melting on contact, but I, we, we've been cautioning all morning long, we're not in the teeth of this yet. I right. think that still comes here between 8 and noon. So we've got a long way to go here and we're going to continue to monitor that. Let's get you outside right now show you where we're at. With consistent snow across most of central Indiana right now, you are seeing a bit of a changeover down to the south. This was expected. All of this is pretty much on schedule here this morning. As we zoom in tight, you can see kind of some uh, decent snow bands that are setting up along I-70 right here in Indianapolis. And again, we showed you some of the views over in uh, Hendricks County there. And you can see some moderate snow falling. And so some of those um, side streets, although I know some of the state highways, those aren't considered side streets, but starting to see some more slushy conditions. And we're going to see that probably evolve into some of the major roads over time as we continue to pick up on more intense snow bands. we got a long way to go. The center of circulation just now over southern Illinois as this tracks to the north and to the east, maybe getting some drier air in southern Indiana as well. We're going to watch all of this, but some of the higher resolution models, which I'll show you in a second, still advertising some pretty good swaths of heavy snow that are going to be inbound across the metro over the next six hours or so. Uh, winter storm warning remains into effect over all of central Indiana. That will go until 7 p.m. tonight. Let's walk you through the high-res uh, model future cast. This will update every hour. Again, you're going to see that rain snow line sneak a little bit farther to the north, maybe as far north as some of our southern metro counties. A lot of the times when you get that rain snow line uh, along that, that's where you get your mo most intense snow bands. And that's going to be hugging right along Indianapolis as we get into that 8, 9, 10 o'clock hour. There's the view at 9. See that deep shade of blue. That's some heavy snowfall rates continuing through midday. All right, so we got a long way to go here. Once we get into the afternoon, that should break off to the east, and the snow should drastically lighten up as we head into the second half of the day. So basically the main part of our accumulation is going to be coming from now through around noon or 1 o'clock. I've made some minor adjustments. I brought this line, the 4 to 8 inch line, a little bit farther north here. But I think in that warning area for the most part, including the metro, at least four inches of snowfall, so no changes there. There will be some areas that could see as high as eight inches of snowfall when you get some of those intense snow bands later on this morning. 33 right now. It's an east wind at 13. Wind chills are into the mid-20s this morning. Lower 30s is where we stand right now, and we're not going to see those numbers move a whole lot. Low to mid-30s for the remainder of the afternoon. So much more to talk about with this system as we progress through the morning. I also see a few more snow chances before we head into the weekend. We'll time that out coming your way in just a few minutes, Steph. All right, thanks, Marcus. You can at 634. Drivers that are out right now, again, starting to see some changing conditions in terms of roadways. It's actually a bit closer to Indianapolis this morning at the North Split. 65, I-70 here. Looks okay. It is wet. So for those that are traveling along some of those uh, interstates that are highly traveled on, I just still think we're looking at wetter road conditions. So nothing that is creating slicker spots. We're not seeing any snow accumulate on a lot of the interstates this morning, which is good news. 
news here, especially as we begin to see the heart of the morning drive. This is near I-70 at 65, so a different vantage point, and you can see a lot of trucks out treating roadways and getting things all cleaned up. So we do have pretty good conditions here, but closer to the metro area, even though we are seeing some active precip for right now. No major accidents or delays across the entire I-465 loop. Looks great for those. For all the major arteries getting into downtown, there's no major slowing. Little south of the city, down near southern parts of the state, there might be some slicker conditions here. Uh, the red and a lot of these brighter colors usually indicates that there might be some patchy, icy conditions there. So just keep an eye out for that just south of the city. And then additional pockets here of heavier snow might be limiting visibility from time to time. And along State Road 267, we did see a little bit of accumulating snow there. So slushy for some drivers there on some of the secondary roadways getting into the city. Otherwise, our road conditions here temperature wise, we're hovering near the freezing mark. We're kind of straddling that right now. So especially for those overpasses and bridges, take it easy this morning. You might be seeing some slushier conditions there. It's going to take a bit longer for the snow to actually melt on some of those surfaces. Otherwise, West Side Drive times are clocking in OK this morning. 70 from Plainfield into the south split. You have a quick 16 minute trip right now. 36 from Avon to I-465 at a 15 minute drive. And if you're coming in from I-74 from Brownsburg to I-465, you have an eight minute morning drive. Hey, yeah, we we are here on State Road 267. Uh, I'm going to flip it around so you can see what we're looking at here. Those road conditions, as, as Marcus and Stephanie were just talking about, have dramatically changed from what we just saw not even a half an hour ago. Already starting to see some of the snow build up, at least on this section of 267. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if this was, it wasn't treated as well or what the situation may be, but it is a little bit slushier in this part here. Uh, so we started to notice that and that those bridges and overpasses have definitely started to accumulate a little bit more snow than what we've seen through most of our commute this morning. We are heading north, or excuse me, we're north of Plainfield, just about to enter Plainfield city limits. So uh, this is much of what we've been looking at and it's continuing to develop and it continuing to build upon itself here on these roads. So we're going to keep traveling around, taking a look at see what we can find out. But for now, we're going to send it back to you guys. Uh, thanks so much, Cody. We'll uh, continue to check with you with Mobile yeah, News so Tracker much, as the uh, morning progresses and seeing those streets. Worth noting that we are seeing some places maybe didn't get treatment, may not even be on a town snow plan. We'll get more accumulation than those that get an awful lot of traffic. So we'll keep watching her and the rest of our team covered. 637 right now, 33 degrees outside.